Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft cataract. We can see this is a cataract with nuclear sclerosis of about grade 2. In such cases, it is very difficult to hold the nuclear mass because as soon as you try to hold the nuclear mass with the FECO needle using a vacuum, you just eat up the lens matter in front. In such cases, a pre-chopper is a good help. With the help of a pre-chopper, we can divide the nucleus into several fragments and we can pick up each fragment with the FECO needle and in this case, I am going to show the use of the pre-chopper first in real time, then in one-third speed of the real time. In this case, by this time, we have made the incisions, have done rexes, have done hydrodissection and rotated the nucleus. Now, here goes the pre-chopper. This is real speed. The pre-chopper and the sustainer just divides the nucleus into two heminuclei in few seconds, then one heminucleus is divided into two fragments in another few seconds. Now, let us see this in one third of the real speed. The pre-chopper goes through the main wound in a slant way so that it does not touch the corneal endothelium. Now, the pre-chopper is embedded in the soft part of the nucleus just in front of the main wound. The sustainer hooks the other end of the equator of the lens mass. The two instruments advance to each other and there is lateral separation and the two and the nucleus gets divided into two heminuclei. The nucleus is rotated. The pre-chopper remains in the groove and now the sustainer comes and the pre-chopper goes towards each other and one heminucleus is divided into two fragments. Two instruments are brought out and now let us go to real speed again. And now some visco is injected. The FECO needle is now introduced with its bevel down and this is a small chopper which I use which has been designed by me and I pick up the fragments and emulsify the fragments. It is so easy now to pick up each nuclear piece and emulsify. And now this heminucleus is pierced in this way and it is emulsified. Most of the time the chopper is out and the emulsification is carried out single handedly so that followability of the pieces is good. And now I go to FECO 3 mode to remove some of the cortex by the FECO needle itself. In this case, I did not do that much. Now I inject FECO, use a 23 gauze SIMCO, go through this sideboard and remove a lot of cortex which was there from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And whatever few cells, few lens fibers are sticking here and there are removed. Now you can see the rexis. The rexis is almost a circle, almost a femtosecond laser circle. And if we train our hands, we can do this in most of the cases. Now this is hydro polish. 
polishing of the posterior capsule just by the irrigating probe. And now this is hydro implantation. Irrigating probe maintains the anterior chamber and an intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. This technique can be used for torigials where you do not have to use any visco and you can minimize the risk of chance of rotation of the intraocular lens, tori intraocular lens. In this case the lens is in the capsular bag. I close the side port, in this case only one side port has been made. I close the side port by hydrating corneal stroma and now I This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Then I just have to form the anterior chamber nicely. I form, I prefer to form the anterior chamber with the help of this Simco cannula. I check the integrity of the wounds, there should not be any leakage from any side, and then conclude the test. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Hope you will get inspired to use a pre chopper. The pre chopper I have used is designed by Dr. Suhail Irfan Khan. You can use this pre chopper or any other pre chopper of your choice. But this is a good instrument, and this instrument should be in your trolley, in your surgical armamentarium so that you can manage soft cataracts very comfortably.